Entertainment King, we here with my man Troy Killertainment King, aka according to the Chivo. Don't get it fucked up out here. We here with my man Steve. Hey, first of all, why are you laying in the bed like a porn star, bro? What's going on? Is you fighting or what? <laughs> no, but um, you got a fight tonight on Terrence Crawford's um undercard, which is a friend of yours. We here with Steve So Cold Nelson. Um, do you know anything about your opponent today? Yeah, um, I watched a few videos of him. Know his record. Know his style of fighting. So, um, how's it to um be with top rank right now and be uh, getting all the fights that you need? doing uh just you know fulfilling the dream that you always wanted to do because i know you personally and you're very talented and uh, you could pretty pretty much do everything pause but how do you feel about it man it just feel good to finally uh fight under the top rank umbrella like this be my first fight like as a signed fighter but i've been fighting for him uh, this is my seventh fight with him so ain't nothing but another uh another ride you know what i mean I know what you mean. Hey, man, you coached me one time for one of my fights in Mexico, and you got good coaching skills. Um, what do you think uh, the person you're fighting, how, are, how is their IQ? Do you think your IQ is higher than his? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, like, he's just a, a one-track fighter. You know, he just fight defensive. He come forward sometimes, try to come forward, but he don't do anything out, outside of uh, the norm. Uh, the norm, he's just a normal fighter. Jab, one, two, go back. And he try to, he do a lot of the, the, the clinching and going down, like putting his head down and stuff. So we got a game plan for him. And um, I'm going to show him why it's different. I mean, he was talking stuff, talking about, oh, the fighter he fought and he lost to. He think I lose to him. But I'm like, you got to do, you gotta do your homework. I already beat that dude. Be him in the amateurs for the ringside world championships a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Hey, man, I'm gonna need you to stop rubbing your stomach like that, bro. We on video. Man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to <laughs> push some of these, these fluids to my stomach. Trying to find some nutrients somewhere in this one. Duh, you already know, because I used to be at your house with all them damn towels. Okay, 20 pounds in one day. In one day. <laughs> I don't do that no more because I'm walking around at 156. Yeah, man, I just, I'm just, yeah, I'm a vegetarian fully now. So, yeah, man, I'm going to let you get your rest, bro. Good luck to you and Bud. I'm going to get with y'all later, get some more questions and interviews. I'll be at the weigh-in, man. Um, I'm looking forward to see you. I ain't seen you in a minute. I want to see you in action, bro. Oh, no, one more question. What are you coming out as, bro? Because your, your outfits be the hardest. Man, they got to see, man. I'm going to give a hint, you know. The pony, he going he gonna to say who the master is. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fire, though, man. You, know, you going to wear the wig, too? Everything, dog. The whole setup. The glasses, hey, bro, everything. you keep it up, bro. You going to be rich. Just keep it up. I wish I had some. I wish they still made Converse. I had those, too. I have a kiss on my Converse. <laughs> hey, don't give them too much. All right, we All right. out, man. Get your rest. Good luck to you. Rehydrate good. And we gonna get with you later, Steve. So cold, Nelson. We out. All right, man. One hundred, man. Thanks, dude. Pretty much.